Hey Nathan, it's Friday, November 8th. Your video on the science of comments was awesome, super informative, and funny as always. Today's video comes to you in three parts. Human's history with comets, popular comets in our time, and how exactly the scientific community officially names comets. Part one. Comets have been observed and recorded in some way by humans for thousands of years. Early interpretation by humans was often symbolic, possibly because of what the comets look like or do. For example, they were thought of as signs of the imminent death of rulers. I could see why a comet would look ominous, a bright light moving across the sky and eventually disappearing. Since rulers were considered somewhat godly, it makes sense that their fate would be spelled out in the stars. They were also seen as a sign of any kind of bad luck, like lost battles or natural disasters. And even crazier, they were also thought to be the weapons of the gods. It would be like being bombed except with space ice. Due to the studies of people like Aristotle and Tycho Brahe, the view of comets changed from magical omens to non-planetary space-traveling celestial bodies. For a while, however, comets were believed to travel in a straight line, otherwise orbitless. But in the 18th century, Edmund Halley studied the patterns of comets and the effect of the sun's gravity on the comets. He compared information from comets with very similar orbit-looking paths and decided that they were the same comet. He predicted that comet would come again in 1758 or 59. Halley did not live to see these years, but his prediction was confirmed. The comet returned in 1759. In honor of him, it was named Halley's Comet. Part two, part two, part two is coming at you, it's coming at you. Halley's Comet is a periodic comet, which is a comet that orbits the sun once in under 200 years. Its popularity comes from its visibility since it's easily seen by the naked eye. It comes around once every 75 to 76 years. Its last visit was in 1986, which means its next visit will be in 2061. Another popular comment in our lifetime was the hale bop Discovered in July of 1995, it was visible for 18 months. It was one of the most observed and visible comets of the century. hale bop is not a periodic comet. Its last appearance before this century's was around 2200 BCE, and it won't come around again until around 4385. The comet Ison is also not a periodic comet. Part three. Part three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part three. Part three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The periodicity of these comets plays a role in how they're formally named. For Halley's Comet, the P designates that it's periodic, and periodic comets are named for their discoverers. The number one before the P indicates that it was the first periodic comet ever discovered. So, for example, the 23rd periodic comet discovered would have a 23 before the P. The C in Hale Bopp's formal name indicates that it's not periodic. The year of its discovery is followed by 01. The letter O indicates the half month in which the comet was discovered. Each month gets two letters, and the letters I and Z are excluded from the alphabet, which means the letter O goes to the second half of the month of July. The number one after the letter O means that the hale Bob comet was the first comet discovered in that half of the month. The comet Ison, then, is a non-periodic comet, the first one to be discovered in the second half of the month of September of 2012. Comets are truly enchanting astronomical phenomena. I can understand why people so long ago attributed such gravity to their appearances. <laughs> get it? Gravity? But nowadays, instead of taking them as a bad omen for the future, we can marvel in the rarity and majesty of the present. You see, most comets that you see in your lifetime probably won't come around again for hundreds or thousands of years. Or like Comet Ison's possible near future will get blown up by the sun. So we can take the appearance of comets as a representation of the beauty of mathematics, chemistry, and physics, and of the uniqueness of the human experience. Nathan, we'll see you on Monday.